everyone and welcome to or back to my channel today I'm back with week two of vlogmas I've been doing like weekly vlogs like week in my lifestyle videos currently I'm at this little park to take an Instagram picture I'm gonna have my mom meet me here and we're just gonna take a quick picture it's a little bit more dead than I realized like all the trees are really dead so i think i might just take a picture like in my car i feel like those pictures are really cute and i've never posted a picture like that on my instagram or maybe like once i feel like maybe once i just really wanted to post a picture in this little brown sherpa that i just got from aritzia i think it's so cute i brought like a little beanie in case i wanted to wear a beanie in the picture just gonna take a quick instagram picture before it gets dark and then head to bath and body works to get a couple christmas gifts that is the plan <laughs> now it is like dark none of the pictures turned out my phone was being really glitchy it just kept like being super laggy so i feel really bad because my mom literally drove up here i might try to take the same picture tomorrow i guess i'm gonna head to bath and body works Body Works was also kind of a fail. They had no three wick candles at all, like no good scents. They had like the bacon one and then a bunch of summer scents. Basically today is just not my day. I do need to do a lot of cleaning and organizing and decluttering. My closet is really messy. My apartment's really messy. So I think that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So I will just talk to you guys then. It is the next day. I need to do some cleaning. My apartment is so messy to the point where it's just embarrassing. I'm gonna take some time to clean it up. I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to do this really quickly because I have a lot of other things that I need to get done today. I feel so much less stressed. Like I was just feeling stressed, like looking at all the mess. And now I feel like all my stress has melted away. I just really needed to do that. I still need to clean up my closet. It is the next day. I thought I would do a little updated hair tutorial. I've been getting some comments and questions on some recent videos and Instagram posts. I've been using my Dyson Air Wrap. I got this back in September. I feel like you could achieve the same look that I'm gonna do without the Dyson Air Wrap. I feel like my hair looked pretty similar to how I do it now before I got it, if that makes sense. I just had to use a lot more tools. So I would use a blow dryer, like a round, curling brush type thing curling iron and a straightening iron so this is just a lot easier because i don't have to use all these different tools and plug them all in and wait for the, them to heat up with the dyson you don't really have to wait for it to heat up and you can just kind of switch out the attachments so you don't have to have like four different tools so i feel like this is just a little bit easier and i really like how it makes my hair look 
as you can see my hair is somewhat dried because it did air dry while I did my makeup so I'm gonna fix these first just because they're already almost dry and I don't want them to dry weird I'm gonna start by sectioning out my bangs and then I'm just gonna clip back the rest of my hair I'm gonna start off with this attachment it's like the little round brush they look kind of crazy right now, but I do about 10 seconds of heat, 10 seconds of cool. So on the Dyson, it has a setting of how much like fan power you want and then like hot, medium, cool. And then as you turn it on, you can have it like on, on those settings, and then you can move it up to like cool which really helps like set the curl in place. Every time that I'm curling my hair or using the round brush, I'll do like 10, 15 seconds of heat and then about 10, 15 seconds of cooling. I start with my bangs kind of like this to just kind of give them that volume and curl. I will kind of shape them from there. That's the bangs for now. I kind of go back after everything else is curled and I'll just kind of get them into place. I also find that this round brush works really well for my roots. So I have naturally pretty wavy hair. So as you can see, my roots look really crazy. They're just like not nice and smooth. So I'll use this to kind of just smooth out the roots. What I would usually use a straightener for. I basically just went and kind of smoothed my roots out. My hair is already kind of dry. I'm just gonna go in with the blow dryer attachment, which I feel like has pretty good power. The Dyson works best on 80 to 90% dried hair, so it actually works better if it's like a little bit damp. I didn't really dry it too much. It's just like a teeny tiny bit damp. There's two different like curling attachments. You can actually get these in long, so if you have really long hair, if your hair is any longer than mine, I'd probably get the long one. Um, they're basically just going to be a little bit longer. Works better with longer hair because my hair kind of like fills up this whole barrel. My hair is actually pretty thin, so I feel like because it's thin, these ones work fine. You get one that's a little bit thicker and one that's a little bit thinner, and this one tapers, I guess. Um, I think I actually like this one better. I feel like the curls are just more similar to like how I've always done my hair, so I just like it a little bit better. They're more bouncy and just like tighter curls, I guess. This one you get really loose, kind of like very like natural waves. You can alternate the directions. So I usually use the same direction on one side and then the same direction on one side. I kind of will just take a section and then I'll kind of let the Dyson grab it. That is a curl. Here's this section done. This literally took me one minute. Here is what the curls look like. Obviously they look kind of crazy because they're really bouncy. So I'm just gonna kind of brush through them. Now they look a little bit less tight. I'm just gonna touch up my bangs. Here is the final product. Very like fluffy, bouncy curls. Definitely gives me like Matilda Jer vibes, which is why I like it so much. Lastly, I hairspray it because I like to set it all in place. So I use this big sexy one. That is my updated hair routine. It's gonna get a little bit of work done before my nail appointment. I think I'm gonna do like some white nails, kind of like this. I think that'd be kind of cute for the winter and Christmas. I just got my nails and lashes done. They turned out so cute. This is exactly what I was wanting, like exactly what I had in mind. They're like white and sparkly. We did Funny Bunny as like the base and then she had kind of like a shimmery white, kind of glittery kind of color that we did over top. I love, love, love how they turned out. Just like nice and fresh. I've been doing my nails a little shorter lately as well and I also got my lashes filled so they look really nice as well I have quite a bit of editing so I might just grab a coffee really quick I got my sugar cookie latte it's so good I haven't had one of these in a while like at least a week I'm back home I got the stuff done that I like really really had to get done so I thought I would unbox a couple packages the first one is from Glossier I ordered this like during Black Friday and Cyber Monday so I got all this on sale so I picked up a couple of these. This is the Priming Moisturizer Balance. 
I use this like every day. I really like it. It's just like a very lightweight moisturizer. So I always use this in the morning before I put my makeup on. I also picked up this super pure serum. I've been using this for a really, really long time. It just really helps if I'm having a couple breakouts. I feel like it just really helps the redness go away. It helps, to, I like swear, it just like makes them go away. I always use this whenever my skin is struggling. And then when my skin is not struggling, I use the glow one from Glossier. I ordered a couple boy brows. One of these is actually a gift. I use this every single day and I feel like I just go through it really quickly. That's everything I got from Glossier. I also got this package from my managers. I'm really excited to open this. I'm so excited. We got some stickers. Ooh, is this a journal? It's a, it's a planner. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, it's like a gold planner. So cute. I even have like a matching little pin. I love their pins. Their pins work so good. I also got a sweater. I don't want to unfold this because I want to keep it all nice so I can take a picture. They literally have the best merch. That is all my packages. I'm just wrapping up all the editing that I need to get done. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I'm about to head downtown and do a little bit of Christmas shopping. My mom actually has to get her car service, like an oil change or something, and it's right by downtown. So we're gonna do a little bit of Christmas shopping, anthropology, Sephora. They're doing another sale or something. I think we're gonna go to Ikea. I've been wanting to go so bad. They always have really cute wrapping paper and Christmas decorations, and I have haven't had a chance to go yet this season. So I think we're also gonna go to Ikea. I thought that would be a fun end to the vlog for this week. I'm always, I feel like I'm always hanging out with my mom. I don't know if that's like embarrassing, but my mom is like basically my best friend. But I actually do have plans with a friend next week. So you'll see that in next week's vlog. I'll just talk to you when we get there. Got a coffee and now we're gonna go to Ikea. Look at all the cute Christmas stuff. I just ran into Blake at Ikea oh, as subscribers. So, happy so to fun. Be here. She's as beautiful as she is on camera. We, we've just been talking for like what, 10, 20 minutes. And she has an Instagram too. Yes. I'll put it here on the screen. Thank you guys you should so follow much. her. Found the Christmas stuff. they had at the beginning of the season but this is only what's left <laughs> We are now downtown shopping. I'm just gonna pop in each night real quick because I have an exchange. I've been really bad about vlogging today, but it was a super fun shopping day. I got some really cute stuff, so I'm gonna do a haul when I get home. I got some skincare at Sephora with 20% off. I got, well, I'll just show you. I did not really do a lot of Christmas shopping, unfortunately. I ended up getting all stuff for myself, which is embarrassing. There were sales and cute stuff. So. I'm back home and I thought I would do a little haul. I actually didn't end up doing a lot of Christmas shopping because I only needed to get one gift and then exchange another gift. I mostly ended up shopping for myself. Starting off with the one gift that I got, this candle from Bath & Body Works. It's the Winter Candy Apple. This is for my nail tech. I've been going to her since I was 16 and I just feel like we're really close. So I wanted to get her a couple gifts this year for Christmas. This one smells so good. I feel like she has the winter candy apple soap out a lot. So I feel like she probably likes that scent. And it just has like a nice smell. I just got one thing at Anthropology. I ended up getting this. How cute is this? I kind of wanted to get the taller pink one as well. But I just got this one because I already have so many Christmas decorations. I'm literally obsessed. Like literally obsessed. I love these type of Christmas trees. Like whatever. I, there's like a name for them. At Sephora, they were doing 20% off, which they literally just did. I did kind of regret not getting this at the last sale. It's the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. I saw a couple people posting about this and my skin has actually been really dry 
and I feel like I have a lot of different serums and moisturizers, but nothing really specifically for hydration. So I thought I'd pick this up. I've been loving the other Summer Fridays products that I have, so I really just wanted to try this. I also picked up this blush. I really don't need any more blushes. I could not resist this. Look at it, it's so stunning. And I definitely don't have any blushes that are this color. Most of the ones I have are very mauve. Why is it making that sound? Is it broke? What the heck? It literally is broke. I feel like very intense blush is kind of like in right now. And also I just really like it. This was like the one thing I was gonna get, but then I was tempted to get those. And it is this Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. So comment your favorite lip balm. My lips are just so chapped all the time. So I just wanted to try this. Let's just try it. It feels really hydrating. Lastly from Sephora, I picked up some foot and hand masks. These are pretty cheap and they were Sephora is 30% off during the sale and I've actually never tried these But I thought they would be good stocking stuffers So some of them are for me because it's a one-time use so my mom couldn't like check out separately I thought this would be fun. My sister's in town So my mom and my sister were all gonna like get these as stocking stuffers and just do like a little pedicure night or something or like a little foot and hand mask spa night or something yeah, you can get like a little hand mask and a little foot mask. I feel like the face ones could potentially break me out, but I feel like the feet and hand ones would be fun to use. That is what I got from Sephora. Lastly is H&M. I got two things. I actually had something that I got a while ago and I haven't worn. It's just been sitting in my closet with a tag, so I just wanted to exchange it. I got this cardigan. I thought this was really cute. I just love the cream like cable knit. I thought the cardigan would be super cute and I don't really have a cardigan quite like this. It just like fit really good. I feel like I'll wear it a lot. It's super cozy. I also got this brown scarf. I was literally putting outfits together this morning. So I was gonna take an Instagram picture, but it was just so dark and gloomy. As I was putting outfits together, I was thinking I wish I had just like a plain brown scarf. Then this one was like pretty cheap and I had a store credit. I ended up getting this one. I feel like I'll wear this a lot. It's also not as thick as some of the other ones I have. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but the other ones I have are really, really thick and chunky and just like a little bit bulky. This one is like still like a chunky scarf without being as thick and bulky, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I could wrap it around. I think this is super cute. Like even right now, like just with like a black shirt. That is what I picked up. I'm really happy with my purchases. I just found a lot of really cute stuff. It's always like when you're not needing anything that you find the cutest stuff. I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Definitely thumbs up if you did. Comment below the highlight of your week or just something you're looking forward to. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a couple days for my next video. Bye.